And let's get a look at the forecast again with our chief meteorologist, Dave Nussbaum. Dave, what can people look forward to this week? Well, I'll need to bring out those jackets and sweaters once again. We put them away with the warmer temperatures we had not too long ago, but now we're going to cool things back down. This uh, evening, we're starting looking at some partly cloudy sky here in Tuscaloosa. I've seen some fog reported over by the airport in Tuscaloosa, but none really here on campus. It's 49 degrees right now, but light winds in the dew point 47. Your temperature and dew point are close or matching. You can get some fog, and I think we could see a little bit developing. It was down about a mile in Tuscaloosa, now up to three miles, down to nine miles in Jasper. I've seen a little bit. Alex City area too. Talladega and Clay County is picking up a little bit of some light fog. So watch out for that overnight tonight. But we're at 43 Coleman, 41 Jasper, 47 right now from Fayette back to Birmingham with 49 in Alabaster and 46 Talladega Asheville back to the Anderson area and still in the 50s heading down into Clanton and Alex City. Still have the cloud cover. There's some breaks in the clouds, so we may see a few of those stars out there. But overall, though, we're dealing with the cloud cover kind of persisting until one front moves away from us. Then we have this next little trough going to be moving through tomorrow. That's going to help clear things out as it moves through during the morning hours. So we'll have some morning clouds and then afternoon the sunshine we back out. So you'll notice here partly cloudy sky overnight tonight. Temperatures slowly falling down to the mid 40s by tomorrow morning with dry conditions out there. So no more rain for us. 45 here and down to 41 in Coleman. How about 45 in Fayette? Tuscaloosa about 48 degrees and Alabaster at a Clanton Aniston area all at 47 for your low temperatures tonight. So after a chilly morning, we were not going to warm up quite as much out there getting to around 60 degrees degrees by one o'clock in the afternoon. It will be a little breezy. Notice the winds out of around 10 to 15 miles per hour as the next little system works its way across the area here, but it will help to keep us dry and then we're going to stay dry with beautiful weather all the way through Friday. A lot of sunshine each day and then our next weather system will come through as we head into the weekend for Saturday and Sunday, helping to bring us some scattering of showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder as well too. So you'll notice the temperatures continue to fall down again to the lower to mid 40s tomorrow morning, but then there goes that trough swinging by with a few clouds and some sunshine in the afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. By 6 o'clock Monday evening, for any of those Christmas parades or tree lightings going on, it will be chilly, 40s and 50s. So on Monday, just keep that in mind if you're heading to some of those. Bundle up. And as we go on it overnight into Tuesday morning, here comes some cooler temperatures, mid to upper 30s out there. Maybe a few random clouds coming through, but that would be about it. So nice cold start, a little frosty in spots as well. And then highs only in the 50s to lower 60s as we head into Tuesday. So kind of reinforcing shot of some cooler air, but even colder air will follow this with yet another front, but it will be dry moving through as we get into the middle of the week. Then we fast forward to the weekend. Now on Friday, the weather looks pretty good. No problems out there for any events going on. We'll see clouds increasing overnight and we'll start to see a little rain moving in here. This is Saturday afternoon. Some showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder out there. Not expecting any severe weather, which is good, but we could get some downpours from time to time. Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. You see as that went through there, it gets out of here by Sunday afternoon. At least this way the American model is showing things and I think that's kind of what we're looking at. So we're talking for Saturday afternoon, Saturday night into Sunday morning may have a little wet weather before things start to clear out out there and the weather will start to improve. So overnight tonight, 45 degrees, partly cloudy, could see some patchy dense fog, definitely much cooler out there. And then as we headed to tomorrow, mostly sunny sky, cooler breezy day with those winds around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures only around 60, but that's what it's supposed to be this time of year anyway. Now looking ahead, 59 Tuesday. Here comes that next front on Wednesday. We'll start in the 30s, only get to 52, down to 32 degrees. So we'll see a light freeze out there as we get up on Thursday morning. Stays warm Thursday, rather cool, then warmer Friday. And then here comes the temperatures in the 60s on Saturday with the next front. About a 40% chance for some showers and maybe a few rubbles of